Okay guys, quick update with Bitcoin. I apologize, I've been away for a while. Uh, I'm back now, I took a little mini vacation. Um, so look, in, in this video I'm going to show you how I was able to predict the last drop down to pretty much the day and how this very same chart could tell us the exact price and date when the next bull run will start. That's the point of this video uh, and again to show you how important this chart is. Also, in the last video, guys, I told you if you uh, left a like, comment, and subscribed, I would pick two winners for one of these one ounce silver Bitcoin coins. So, in this video, I will pick the winner for those uh, in the previous video for these two coins. Same thing if you like, comment, subscribe in this video. In the following video, I will pick the winner of the two winners from this video. So, uh, before we get into that chart, guys, if you do want to trade, uh, if you want to use futures or leverage, I use Bicket, love the platform, trust the platform. If you want to sign up, the link's pinned in the first comment in the description. If you want to learn how to trade on Bigit, I created a tutorial showing you how to set up a stop loss, adjust your stop loss, do trigger orders, all of that. So you need to watch this tutorial video for trading on Bigit. I'll link up to it now. Uh, two other options for you guys I also use is Bing X and it, I use uh, CoinCatch as well. CoinCatch is if you're located in the US, you do not need a VPN or KYC, so jump on that while you can. Both those links are pinned for the comment description. On CoinCatch, you can do up to 125 times leverage. BingX, you can do up to 150 times. And on Bitget, you can go up to 125 times. All right, so let's get into this. Uh, so in the previous, uh, well, the last four or five videos, I've been talking about this ring, letting you guys know when we cross this ring to expect a drop. This is my last video talking about Bitcoin fractal repeating. And that's this video here. I will put a link up to it now if you want to check it out. I suggest you do. I was talking about Bitcoin fractal repeating and my Bitcoin prediction. And what I was talking about was once, I've said once we cross this ring to expect price to drop. Now this is based on quite a few things, but more importantly it was just this ring. This ring was timing for a move and it made sense that move would be to the downside. Uh, this is a published version of this chart to show you how it played out. I published this on August 2nd. If I hit play, you can see once we crossed that ring, that was it. We had a drop. We came down. Notice we found support on this ring. I'll show you this on the daily as well. So you can see we crossed this ring. As like I said, once that next weekly candle opened, we would cross this ring. Every time we cross one of these rings, you can see we always get a pivot. Let me get the brush tool here. We always get a pivot. Notice the pivot was when we went up, the pivot was sideways. Right here, we were going up, the pivot was actually we went down the ring. So this pivot, once we crossed it, well, since we were already going sideways, the pivot would be up or down. It made sense it would be down, and that is how it played out. This here is the same video that I just referenced. Uh, this is where I was talking about the fractal, giving you the exact day I expected us to break down. So this is that same ring on the daily. Notice we're following this fractal. So if we continue to follow this fractal, we would break around this price around this time. And that is pretty much how it played out. So we followed this fractal, we broke this point, and we had a drop. Notice this is the daily. We found support right on this ring. So your next major resistance to watch and I did break down this blue, blue line why this is important, but if we do push up, it looks like 27,500 would be a great point to uh, short. Notice the uh, center of Bollinger Band is coming down to this point, so I would watch that point for a next point to, for a short entry, around 27,500. Uh, guys, if you do want to get access to these charts and Discord, the link to sign up is pinned in the first comment description. This is over live trades in our Discord, Overlord J. Thanks, Optigard.com. Uh, you are steady feeding my family. 93x, 933% profit. <laughs> You're welcome, that's awesome. 264% uh, profit, 279, 166, 409, 100 times leverage, that's crazy. Uh, this person, Russell M, nice, amazing charts and learning from Steve makes a difference for me between winning and losing. Thanks, Steve. Okay, thank you, you're welcome. 100, uh, sorry, 1,100%. Doesn't show the, the leverage, but that's. That's, that's amazing. Okay, so guys, this is what I want to cover. This is that blue ring I talked about. This was seven months ago. I said, epic Bitcoin suckers rally pump incoming. And I knew this just like I knew in that previous chart I showed you when we cross that ring we drop. Based on this blue FIP circle, there's never been one point we crossed one of these blue FIP circles and not got a pump. So that's why I said, once we cross this blue ring, this is where you would go long or you would buy. I'll put a link up this video now. I suggest you watch it because this next blue ring, I think, is going to, is going to be the start of the next bull run. This is that published chart just to show how it played out. Uh, this is published on December 26, 2022. Uh, and I was talking about this blue ring. So this is the point you want to go long. And you can see what happened. 
as soon as we crossed that ring, we just shot straight up. And notice we topped out right at this yellow ring. So again, there was a lot of indicators for me that we have some downside, and we could have a lot more downside. Hell, we could just go sideways. The point is, when you cross this ring, this is where you would go long or buy in. Now, I'm gonna break this down for you. So you saw that this ring here, um, and I just showed you in the previous chart. So basically I was just saying, look, when we cross this ring, expect to drop. But this is the ring, the next major ring to pay attention to. Now, in the title, it said you know, the exact price and the exact date. Well, while this is true, we will not know till we make contact. And the reason I'm saying this, this ring is a curve, all right? This, depending when you make contact, depends on the time and the price. So if we make contact here, the price is going to be around 19473 and that would be on March, uh, that'd be uh, 18th of March 2024. If it's here, well, it's, again, it's when you make contact, when you cross it. So basically, if you get access to this chart and you have this chart open as we, as we approach this ring, you'll know when the next board one starts. But we will not know when price makes contact with this ring until it does. That's when you know. Just like when price was moving along, right? We didn't know what, what price it would be or what time it would be when we made contact with this ring. But we knew at that point something would change, just like right here. Same thing with this one. We did not know when we made contact with this ring. But we knew that when we did, that's when you pay attention and that's when you expect a move and you can see the move is to the downside. So my point is, pay attention, if, again, if you want to sign up get access to this chart, I believe that this ring will be the, the ring that actually triggers the next bull run. So price could continue sideways. I'd like to point out this right here is the 300-week moving average. This could just kind of go sideways and angle down like this, right, if we have more downside. This is the 400-week moving average, same thing, could do something like this. So we don't know. I mean, we could break all of these. We could have a lot of downside. I'm expecting a lot of downside for the markets. Remember, Bitcoin follows the indices. So if price does something like this, you know, we just get some chop and we just start moving sideways. Well, hey, that means that if price moves sideways, that means within the next, uh, let's see, 168 days before we make contact with the ring. Well, we cross that ring in like 175 days. That means that's the point you would buy and go long for the next bull run. If price continues down, right? So let's say we have a lot more downside, which I think is very possible. Say price just continues to do something like this. You know, we come up, we break this, comes resistance, we bounce back and forth, break this, we come down. And price makes contact here. Well, at this point, this would be uh, let's see, the 6th of May 2024. This would be around $12,300. Well, at that point, as soon as you cross, this is when you would buy, this is when you'd go long. Because there's been not one time we have crossed one of these blue rings and Bitcoin did not pump. So it just makes sense, just like I showed you in that previous video. When we cross this ring, this is a point to buy and go long. And if I just go more to the left here, you see right here? When we, when we were already pushing up, but notice we came back down found support. So once we cross this ring, we continued up. And I can show you over here. Same thing, this is when price dropped down from, this is back in 2018, price dropped down to, or from 6K to 3K. Notice once we cross this blue ring, we pumped. So again, there's not been one time we have crossed this blue ring and not pumped. That means that whatever price does, whether we go sideways, and make contact, whether we push up and make contact, or we have a significant drop, which I think is more likely. When you cross this point, this is a point that you would buy in or go long. And you can get access to this live chart on my website if you, do, if you guys do want to sign up. But just to give you an idea, so let's say that this uh, plays out where we drop down to like 12,000. Well, that would put the timing for this around, this would be 260 days. So we will have crossed the ring in potentially 280 days. So again, this is a chart you want to have. I do believe that this will be the next point where the bull run starts. Now, what happens between now and then, we'll just have to pay attention. Again, in the next videos, I'll give you support resistance levels to pay attention to. But as I mentioned on this chart, do pay attention. Uh, I did break down this line, why this is significant, but this is a great point to enter short if we push up to 27,500. Uh, and just guys, just to show you, this was the NVIDIA chart. I've been talking about that if you've been following me. I said when we cross this uh, red ring, that would be the point to go short. Take note the support level here. By the way, I published this on July 6. You can see we just bounced off this ring. As soon as we crossed it, we had a drop, came down to support, and you can see NVIDIA has been pushing up. By the way, if you want to, uh, look for, if you're looking for a point to enter a short, I'd be cautious entering any uh, positions here. Your point to short was when you cross the ring. Again, this is NVIDIA. Your point to short was here on uh, 458. 
your point to long was the support level this yellow line is around 415. If you're looking for a point to enter short, I would enter around 496 to potentially 507. I would not enter here, anything can happen. Uh, so guys, let's pick the winners of these coins. So again, all you have to do is like, comment, subscribe, and in the following video, I will pick the two winners from this coin. So this is to pick the, the winners from the last video. So I've already got the um, my previous video, uh, the link in here, so I'm gonna click Fetch. Uh, let's see, allow duplicate comments, no. Include replies, no. All right, continue. All right, so loading all the comments, quite a few comments. All right, so I'm going to pick a winner. All right, the winner is Joyce Nzor, N-Z-O-R. That is the first winner. And we're gonna pick the next winner, Mark Fitting. Okay, so you are the two winners. So uh, to claim your coin, what I need you to do is to uh, contact me through my website via email. So email me through my website and let me know that you're a coin winner. I will give you a code or random word to go back and edit your comment. Uh, and then that will tell me that you did leave that comment and then I'll get your coin shipped out to you. And again, we pay for shipping. So again, guys, if you want to like, comment, subscribe on this video. In the next video, I'll pick two coin winners. But again, guys, if you want to sign up for Bicket, that link is pinned in the first comment and subscription. Uh, sorry, description. And I do have that tutorial video if you want to check it out. And if you want to sign up to get access to these charts, uh, again, offercrypto.com is the website. And I do have tutorials teaching my method. Uh, I use FIP channels and FIP circles. If you want to watch this tutorial, I have about maybe six or seven videos where I break it down how I create these charts, how I use FIP channels, and then use these FIP channels to uh, find these FIP circles to predict these moves. But guys, the bottom line is, if you have access to this chart, <laughs> this is the chart you want to have because this is the one I think that's going to predict the next bull run. In the following videos, guys, I will give you support and resistance levels, but I just want to point out how significant this next blue ring, blue ring is because there's not been one point. We have crossed this. We have crossed one of these blue rings and not got a pump. So I do believe that when we cross this ring right here, that will be the start of the next bull run. The point, the question is, is what, what price do we cross it? That's it, guys. Trade safe, trade smart. I'm out.